Welcome back after the refreshment break. We're going to talk about caravan kitchens, which nowadays are very much like domestic kitchens, right down to the microwave oven. But one place where they can be disappointing, and that's in the sink when you lift the plug and the water discharges so slowly. Well, can it be improved? Yes, I think it can. But first, let's check one or two points. On a domestic system, it has the advantage of big, wide bore, used to be called inch and a half pipe. Smooth on the inside, too big for a caravan. In caravans, they fit this stuff. Now, unfortunately, it's cheap, it's flexy, I know, but it's got ridges on the inside, which slow down water and trap things as well. This is a better example. It's smooth on the inside, but not many caravan manufacturers fit it because it costs a bit more money. I think, though, that we can use domestic pipe without going as thick as this. And I'm going to show you a simple little conversion that I've done on caravans and I've done on motorhomes. Let's take it through bit by bit. The pipe I go out and buy from the builder's merchants is an inch and a quarter. And it comes with all sorts of fittings, no problem. But how do you link that to your sink when your sink ends like that? Well, one thing you can do is simply disconnect this, cut it short, and do something that you have probably on the back of your washing machine, where the hose fits within a pipe around it. So how can we build all this up? Well, stage one, if you're able to convert your caravan and it's not still under warranty, is to get it parked up level. Important. And then, as you use your spirit level, you can make sure that there's a slope all the way down on the pipe from beginning to end. And I'm going to show you on this board over here what I mean by the beginning, which is the sink where it all starts and it runs away. Right to the far end, where it discharges out into your waste tank. And at the discharge end, you can always buy a bit of old car hose to make the connection. So we buy this. Let's just, just go through the processes. We can cut it to length with a hacksaw. I've started with this piece just to get it all rolling. And once you've got the rough bits there, you can get a file and you can smooth the ends and you can smooth the inside. No less important though is to take off the shine with a bit of abrasive paper. And similarly on the inside of the couplings, take off the shine here too. And having got it all checked, and yes we can see it interlocks, we've got it measured up, pre-cut, you use this kind of adhesive which is used on the guttering of rainwater systems and it comes with a little brush in the lid. I'm not going to spill it all over my kitchen, I'm just going to say that you wipe it on here and you get the fitting, you push it in, you go back and forth a couple of times and then you leave it for 24 hours before you put water down it. So have a look, here we are at the sink end, I fitted these under the sink, mounted them firmly, and then when it goes the corner, round the corner, I want to just check that there's a slight slope on that. And for the rest of the whole system, there's a continuing slope, and if you can't get all the way through the cupboards, at least if you improve some of it and link it back up to flexible hose, you will get water whistling out of that sink. A jolly sight quicker. <laughs>